Okay, I'm super excited for today's video because we're gonna have a little fun. So in today's video, we are talking about the sad stylist types. I have created these stylist types that are just sad, sad, sad. And if you're finding yourself identifying with any of these, it's time to fix that because you a sad stylist. How do I know what qualifies to be a sad stylist? It's because I've been doing this for a very long time. My name is Lauren Messiah. I am a stylist. I'm the author of the book, Style Therapy, founder of the course, Style Boss Academy, which teaches stylists how to start businesses. I have trained over 6,000 stylists over the course of my career, teaching them how to turn their passion for fashion into a profitable business. So I've seen some stylist people and I know which ones are sad. Sad stylist type number one, copycat Kara. Copycat Kara doesn't have an original idea in her head. She decides, I wanna be a stylist. Heck, maybe she's watching these videos. It's like, woo, sounds like a cool job. She Googles personal stylist. She finds all the top ones and it's like, mm, what's she doing? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Ooh, what, what does her Instagram bio say? Mm, yep, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I've had so many extreme copycat Karas over the course of my career, I had one copycat Kara who stole my entire website, carbon copy of my website. She just changed my logo, which obviously is Lauren Messiah to, you know, her name, copycat Kara. <laughs> same font, same color, same layout, same everything. It was a carbon copy. <laughs> so many copycat Karas, it's insane and it bothers me. It bothers me not because like, oh, my feelings are hurt. She copied me and please spare me. Well, Lauren, imitation is the highest form of flattery, whatever that phrase goes, spare me. I'm more upset because you're ruining your own stuff. You're being a knockoff. You're being a lame-o and you're actually not going to be successful by copying someone else. You'll be more successful if you forge your own path, learn from the best and create something unique. Hello. So if you're a copycat Kara, stop it at once. Because some of y'all copycat Karas, you know who I'm talking to. I got a couple copycat Karas for Style Boss Academy. I see you. And legally I'm set up to take you down, okay? <laughs> Don't mess around with being a copycat Kara because someone who has the time, the money, and the power will put a stop to you and it will not be cute. It will not be cute. Just stop it right now. You're sad, it's scary, please don't do it. Next sad stylist type is nine to five Nora. Nine to five Nora bitches and complains about her nine to five job. Oh, it's so terrible. Oh, my boss sucks. Oh, I hate it. I'm so exhausted. I just dream of being a stylist. Nora enough. Are you gonna do something about it or not? I get it. There's transitions. It's tough. It's scary. It's hard. But girl, you've been singing this song for 10 years now. Are you gonna quit or not, Nora? Hop on the fence or hop off. Do you wanna do this or do you just wanna be in your nine to five? Cause I, I can't take hearing about the struggle. It's sad and it's annoying. Enough, moving on. Sally Step Skipper. Sally Step Skipper, say that three times fast. She, oh, there's so many of y'all. So many of y'all are gonna have to raise your hand in the comments to say, I am a Sally Step Skipper. Sally Step Skipper decides that she wants to be a stylist. She's like, this is a cool job. This is what I want to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up my Instagram account and say I'm a stylist. Let me just change my bio real quick. <laughs> okay. I'm going to look at some stylist websites. I'm like, put together a package and put the website together. I'm done. I'm a stylist. Started my business. Sally, we need to talk. Uh, your branding and your social media, that's like step six in the process. You have so many other things to do before and after to start your business. Stop skipping steps. I even have students. It's not always easy to catch you if you're just in my course, but if you're in group coaching or if you're in my mastermind, I can catch you real easy because I can interact with you one-on-one -on -one personally. They're like, oh yeah, Lauren, I'm like doing all the things, but like it's not working. I'm like, but did you do this? No. Why? It was module one. It was step one. You just went over and skipped over and did this and you're wondering why you didn't get results. You skip steps, stupid. stupid. Get it together, Sally. Businesses are built in a very specific order. 
It's just how this works. Don't fight the process. If you're fighting the process, it means you're fighting the results and you're just fighting the money. You don't want the money. Do all the steps and do them in order. Next is perfectionist Penelope. This is so common. This is so common that you want to do everything perfect that it makes you stay stuck. Oh, I haven't perfected my logo yet. So I'm just going to keep working on that forever. Just get it done. There are some things in business where it's just like done is better than perfect. Just get it done and move on because you can always go back and perfect it later. But there's also no such thing as perfection. And this was cra- this was like mind blowing to me when I went to Tony Robbins date with destiny, because I've always been like a perfectionist, you know, any job interview, what's your, you know, thing you're not good at. I'm like, I'm a perfectionist. Like, that's the most impressive answer. Like I'm so perfect. Like Tony Robbins says perfectionism is like the lowest standard you can hold yourself to because you can't achieve perfection because it does not exist. It doesn't even exist in nature. It doesn't exist. So you're holding yourself to a standard that you can never achieve. So the second you get over that to be like, wow, I'll never be perfect because it doesn't exist. Then you just move on and you just start doing things to be effective and to get things done. And you can make them better later because it will never be perfect. You're always going to want to change your branding and your logo and your colors and your package because businesses evolve and grow. They don't just, they don't, you don't check a box and be like, Okay, I never have to touch this again. You always have to touch it. You always have to work on it. Penelope, we're done. We're done with being perfectionist, okay? The next one is start over Sarah. I don't know why so many of my students fall into the start over Sarah category, and it always happens with their social media accounts. They're like, I deleted my whole Instagram and started over. Why? I started a brand new Instagram. Why? Oh, well, you know, like some of the stuff just didn't really seem like in alignment. So I thought, clean slate, start over. Stop doing that. (laughs) Stop doing that. Listen, if I started over every single time I pivoted my career or changed things, y'all would see like nothing. Instead, I allow you to see the progression. I have videos on this YouTube channel that are like ghetto, okay? From when I first started my channel and it was my assistant like shakily holding an iPhone, I had no sound equipment, I had no lights, they were trifling. My hair was trifling, everything was trifling. They're still up there on the channel. And guess what? Those are some of the top performing videos. Like they do the best. It doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't need to be, you start over from scratch. Just allow things to evolve. Let people see your process Truthfully, people like that. People are like, oh my God, I've watched you grow. It's so amazing. Like, I know you know your stuff. I want to work with you. It's like, oh wow, showing how whack I was is helping me? Cool. Don't start over. Let us see it. Next up, forever waiting Frida. Frida's always waiting until next time. She's like, I'll do it next time. I'll do it next time. Next time never comes because she's always waiting for next time. This happens all the time. (laughs) with my students thinking about signing up for my programs, I will get a DM. Hey Lauren, when's the next time Style Boss Academy opens? I'm like, it's gonna open in the spring. They're like, cool. Spring rolls around. Hey Lauren, when's the next time Style Boss Academy is opening? Frida, it's open now. You asked months ago, it's open now. What's the problem? Wait till next time. Wait till next time, wait till next time. This famously happened in my former company, School of Style. People would always be waiting till next time. And then guess what? At the end of 2020, I left my own company (laughs) and people, and I took my classes with me. People were like, where's your class? Honey, you waited too long, it's gone. (laughs) And for a whole year, I didn't do anything related to teaching stylists. And then I come back, come back from the dead. And people are still like, when's the next one? Have you learned nothing? (laughs) Stop waiting. Here's what happens when you wait. You miss opportunities. Oftentimes something goes away or the price goes up. That's what happens a lot in my world. Like yesterday's price ain't today's price. Move now, act now. You're only delaying the inevitable. The inevitable being your success. 
And if you always delay it, your success will never come and you're always gonna be left wondering. So stop waiting, less waiting, more doing. I'm not saying be impulsive and crazy all the time, but it's like when you know something in your spirit that it needs to be done, just do it. Stop waiting. The best time is now. We're not promised tomorrow. Hello. And those are the sad stylist types. My question is, which one are you? Which ones are you? Be honest, cause you know you fall into at least one of those categories. Are you a perfectionist? Are you a wait till the next time? Do you always start over? Are you guilty of copying people? Identify the problem. It's the first step, people. And then let's try to do better. Cause the faster we can get out of sadness, the faster we can get into success. So thank you so much for tuning in today's video. If you love this information, then guess what you're gonna love even more? You're gonna love my free ebook, Book Your First Styling Client. This is gonna get you out of sadness real quick. 20 pages chock full of secrets. Secrets. This has five success secrets that are gonna help you turn your dream into a reality. This book is totally free. Click the link below to sign up for it. And while you're down there, please subscribe to my channel because I don't want you to miss a single video and I'll see you in the next one.